This is me at Muscle Beach with a homemade arm exoskeleton that gives me super strength. And if any of these meatheads can beat me at arm wrestling, I'll give them a hundred bucks. Now this all started because secretly, I've always wanted to be an arm wrestling champion. But unsecretly, I am a noodle arm nerd that always loses. So at first, I was thinking, to be a okay. champion, I'm gonna have to train with and a champion. Go. Like, in, and then whole body sort of a thing. Exactly. If I use those tips, I could beat you in arm wrestling. No. And that's when I realized the only way I was ever going to win was by cheating. There we go. I'm gonna be strong, man. I thought about taking steroids, but then I found this cartoon where a raccoon beats a gorilla at arm wrestling with an exoskeleton, and that gave me a great idea. What if I got a bunch of scrap metal and tried to make it the same shape as me arm? I am eyeballing the shit out of these circles. Cause then I'd have a super strong brace I could strap to my arm that still lets my elbow bend, but keeps my arm from twisting in any other direction. My God, I cannot believe this is actually working like this. <laughs> the only problem is just having a passive brace on my arm isn't gonna be enough cause this exoskeleton has to outmuscle literal mutants. I mean, look at these guys, look at the size of this hand. Each of this guy's fingers is the size of a dinosaur cock. And it turns out in high level arm wrestling, you're not really moving your arm side to side as much as you are pulling the other person towards you as hard as possible. So I decided to power my robot arm with an electric winch designed to pull 2,000 pounds. So I'm gonna need like a pulley here, I think. The cable should go up around here and that's what's actually gonna pull the arm up. Yeah, the elbow comes up. Oh! I'm kind of scared to put my arm in there. I'm just gonna take myself to the machine here. If I push this button, the arm should go up. Oh! That's really scary. That's really scary. Okay, and then this button should make the arm go back down. I hope it goes back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> this thing is amazing, which I don't know how that happened considering all the parts are from Harbor Freight, but now I just need a cyborg shoulder so my cyborg arm doesn't tear my meat arm off my body. And at first I tried making a back plate out of plywood, which I don't know what I was thinking. The arm weighs 50 pounds. So the wood just sagged so bad that nothing ended up fitting right. You see how like my joints, what was that? So I thought about it for a while and realized that Ooga Booga aluminum is more stronger than a wood. All right, guys, I got something really cool to show you. It actually turned out really, really well. Look at how gorgeous this thing is. Look, the back plate and the shoulder plates, it's one solid piece of aluminum angle. I've reused the backpack straps and the waistband for my giant sword exoskeleton. We got the wires, we got the battery, we got the giant controller that came with the winch. And this is important. This is a 40 amp fuse, so if anything goes wrong, that'll go pop instead of my elbow joint. So now I get, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and put it on then. And this is where I started regretting that I hadn't designed the exoskeleton in CAD. It's very hard to do one-handed. Because if the suit's <laughs> joints don't line up just right with my bone joints and that winch gets stuck on somehow, this will become a live leak video instead of a YouTube video. Yeah! I can actually totally wear this. Here's the real test though. It's whether or not I can actually use the winch to do this without breaking my arm. Whew. Oh, okay. I am strong, man! Yeah. This stupid cartoon exoskeleton actually oh, fucking that's actually, works. That's actually pretty fast. But before we head to Muscle Beach, I want to thank Opera as the sponsor of this video. Opera One is a completely redesigned browser with AI tools that are integrated into the browser. Like this AI unique to Opera that named itself Aria. I didn't even name myself. Opera One is modular, it's intuitive, basically it's a new, browser. better browser. When I'm researching stuff for a video, I'll have a million tabs open and I waste a ton of time just searching through them. But Opera One uses tab islands to automatically group related tabs together and keep your projects organized. Like if you're reading an article and there's a complicated word that you don't know, just highlight it, click explain briefly, and Aria will give you a quick definition of the word. There's even a translation option if what you're looking up is in a different language. Opera One comes with a ton of other features too, like a built-in ad 
blocker, a free VPN, and a customizable sidebar so that you can fine tune Opera One to do exactly what you need. So if you're frustrated with your current browser and you want to support this channel, try a better browser experience. Use the link in my description to download Opera today. Oh wait, shit, I, I'm so sorry, I forgot, I forgot to tell you about this giant man. This is arm wrestling champion Tony. He weighs 350 pounds, can bicep curl 200 pounds, and is left-handed, but his right hand looks just as big. I am going to try to beat him at arm wrestling. How you feeling, Tony? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Man against machine, That's yeah? Right. I've never been more scared in my entire life. Three, two, one, go. Ah! <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, go down! Go down, Tony! <laughs> down! Oh! <laughs> You just pulled me straight out of any kind of strength. That there. was so freaking cool. Do a little. <laughs> How did that feel for steel. you? The steel. Like, <laughs> you'll be anybody. That is so freaking cool. And now that I've got the arm wrestling champ seal of approval, it's time to dress up as my old high school self and revenge bully some bodybuilders. 100 bucks, he beat me at arm wrestling. Ah, uh, damn, what Why kind not? of contraption is this? Uh, it's just for show, man. I got no muscle. Come on, look at how big that guy is. You don't think you got a chance? Come on. Yeah? All right, let's go. This is our ref, Tony. He's gonna go over some ground rules, make sure we're doing this right and safe. Uh-oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> you, you had me when I was pressing the button the wrong way. Dang, dude, your arms are huge. <laughs> oh, boom! That was tough, dude. You work out here? Do you look like it, dude? That's, that's... <laughs> What? What are you? This is nothing. It's just an arm brace. It's just for cosmetic <laughs> effect. Oh! Boom! Dude, you were doing pretty good until I turned this thing on. That was that was great. Hundred bucks if you can beat me in arm wrestling. Yes, for free. All you gotta do is beat me. You get a hundred bucks. Oh, he's pretty strong. He's pretty good. Oh! Oh, that's pretty strong, that's pretty strong. Oh, that's getting close. If I touch that, I'm gonna lose. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes. Okay. Can I see, is that, is that your girlfriend over there? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Yeah, make sure you impress her, right? You gotta make sure you do well. You gotta make sure you do really good. Oh, 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 that's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, that's pretty good though. Oh, you got a chance, you got a chance, you got a chance. Boom. Where's your girlfriend? That's pretty strong, dude! Uh, Boom! Dude, did you just pop over that thing? Wanna give it a try? Hell yeah! No, here, tell you what, tell you what. If you can count to 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. count all the way up to 30 before I can beat you, I'll give you 100 bucks. Oh! Oh! You're. Keep counting, you're almost there! You're halfway there, you can win 100 bucks! Count faster, count faster! <laughs> Good try, dude. Good try. I would have counted a lot faster if I was you. You're so strong. <laughs> Thank you. I, I truly did work out to get this body. Dang, dude, you got some muscles. You got some serious muscles. I don't have muscles, so I'm just going to have to get lucky here. I was feeling pretty good about myself. I was finally the best arm wrestler at Muscle Beach. And then this guy showed up. Oh, wait. Does your shirt say... Literally that you're in the, an arm wrestling league? Just a shirt. Just a shirt? Yeah, just like how this is just a backpack, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. I can feel muscles in your thumb already that I have never thought were possible. What I didn't know at the time was that the winch cable on my exoskeleton had got tangled up on the last match, which meant that as soon as right. I tried to turn Go. the motor on for this one, Oh, he popped the fuse! So without oh. my super strong cyborg bicep, all I was left with was a frozen arm and my body weight, which was enough to get this guy within an inch of his life. But in the end, Captain America beats Iron Man. Oh. Oh. And while it still sucks that I lost $100, it was still totally worth it to be the second strongest guy on the beach. Took my arm right out of the exoskeleton. Why does your hand look like a, an alien hand? It is, it is. How's that fair? 
Did you roll the back of his shirt? If YouTube recommended this video to you, that means that you're a nerd, just like me, or Mark Rober, or Michael Reeves, or Code Miko, or like 75 of the greatest science YouTubers out there. And we're all gonna be together at Open Sauce on July 15th and 16th. What is Open Sauce, you ask? It's like if a YouTube convention, a science fair, and a carnival had a three-way baby. And if you've got $95, you could be a part of that three-way too. We've got panels from your favorite science YouTubers, and also dumb people like me and William Osman. We've got a venue with 150,000 square feet of space to fill with giant robots, interactive games and art, and crazy inventions submitted and built by you guys. God help us all. Open Sauce is owned and operated by science creators, not a giant social media platform. And we are spending a ridiculous amount of our own money to make sure that this is awesome. So get your tickets today at opensauce.live and we'll see you in San Francisco, nerds.